Hello, welcome to the showcase and guide of the Manjars 2.0. Let's go to the template now. Okay, so this system has two pages, uh, the main dashboard and the cash flow analytics. Here we have six databases, the jars, goals, income, expense, recurring monthly bills, and the monthly uh, monthly database that I will show you in a little bit. So here's how I use this system. Uh, the, the jars is used for monitoring whether how much I still have. And let's start with if I have a new income. So let's say I put in, you can copy this also, November here. And let's say we had it at the end of the month of November and this comes from my side business or something so let's just say come road here and I earn for example $300 here you have an allocation select so this does to uh, one of other functionality so first is the default one in which if you know the manager system you have a different uh, allocations for each jar so let me show you that if we select on default this will be automatically calculated and the calculation is this uh, this one is 55 percent ffa is 10 ltss is 10 and is 10 play is 10 and give is five percent that is the default if and in this case i'll change this to I'll change this to uh, custom in which you can specify using these properties. So this Gumroad CC is my side business. I'll put everything into the FFA allocation. So let's say here 100%. So let's see the manager's balances. Let's go back here. So all of the $300 goes to the FFA bucket or the FFA jar. Let's see the comparison if default. It's like spread out. If it's custom, then everything goes there because we specify that 100% of that uh, income goes to this bucket. Okay, next is for example, we have a new expense. In this case, in the month of November, let's say the play jar, which is this supposed to be uh, completely used for the month. So let's say here. Let's put in, we'll have a date with the wife, dinner date. And let's consume the $75. And then since this is a play fund, we can just copy here or select here play. And this 75 will go away. Okay. It's just a little bit takes time. The notion is slow for now, but now it's zero, so it's automatically computed here. Uh, next, I want to discuss is if we have a new goal. So let's say this is an emergency fund. But let's say let's create a new goal uh, for financial freedom. So freedom fund. Let's call it that. Open then let's click on new FFA goal because we want to take from the FFA or because this is from freedom right? so financial freedom account Okay, let me just go back so this one this goal uh, Let's go maybe Five years from now just for example Then the goal would be $20,000 and let's just say the 300 let's put it like standard this is just for a note to yourself saying that okay on a monthly basis you'll put 300 dollars on this account and using this database you can have uh, on the template you can see that this is filtered already freedom fund so it goes to the this account freedom fund and then it takes from the FFA because this is a linked database of the expense uh, expenses here. 
we go say for the month of November. FFA is already stated there. So the side business gum road, let's put everything here. And let's just go back. Uh, description is uh, let's buy Bitcoin because it's down right now. And let's put it, let's say today is uh, November 30. Now you will see the current amount is has the 300 because it's a roll up from everything that is tagged to the freedom account or the freedom fund goal and it's related it you can see it already here so this will roll up to the monthly also the monthly uh, report or database later we'll show that okay so we gone through adding expense and auto automatically computed on the jar so this one is your reference whether uh, you still have fun uh, on that jar or no more and we discussed the freedom of the goals and how to add uh, automatically here also now uh, this is the one that i use also monthly so this is my checklist whether i have paid already the bill or not and you can just copy this if it's on a monthly basis right you can copy this like this or or manually add it every month but i just copy it now uh, i want to pay the internet and we still have money in the necessities jar and let's go open this monthly or recurring bill and then you can just uh, same with the goals it works like this way also, but it's, it doesn't have a roll up. It's just adding a specific expense uh, for this for this monthly bill. Makes your life easy. So you can use also filter if this is if this is uh, same amount every month. So you can add that filter here, or you can remove it. So let's say. The bill is $50, right? So if you just click on new and new, just change the date, uh, you will have automatically populated this one, the expenses amount. Let's delete, we just need one, so I'll delete the other. On the month, let's say also, no, not August, November. Okay. Now we can check this one saying that okay it's paid and it's here also it says internet paid so that is how i use this input or the monitor system so we'll have allocations proper allocations for each of uh, so that we can enjoy or have purpose for each of the allocation that we have education this one can use to buying books or courses all right uh, let's now go to the cash flow analytics okay this is your reports page so same thing jars uh, balances and now here uh, we can say we can see we can see the different months uh, we have status here also saying that if we are on a our cash flow is higher or it's a positive cash flow then it's blue but if it's not uh, it's orange and if, if it doesn't have a value yet it's zero uh, we'll have a gray status here so it's visually uh, we can see it right away cash flow you can see the how much is the remaining balance in our jars and the monthly database say uh, showing that for each of the jars how much we have spent per month okay so th this one uh, since since this one right uh, we have a lot of entries for income and expense so my best practice here is to have it on a yearly basis so i create another monitors page for each year 
you can say this one is 2021 or for the coming year 2022 just roll over the values copy the goals yeah, because if we have a lot of entries per database i think that is one of the uh, setbacks uh, in notion that it will become slow because a lot of entries per database so that's a tip that last thing that i want to show you. okay thank you for watching